登場するまさに一石二鳥だ Hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing, set the bell for notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. The boys are being tortured by the vice, not to tortured, the boys are going against the vice president in an arm wrestling yep. contest. They use her strength against her. It was smart. Oh, he had a couple of talking points. Let's hit those up too. But one thing, I started writing down stuff, man. The vice, the, the vice president acts like she doesn't need the no, no, vice president. No, the president acts like she doesn't need the vice president. Yeah, the president acts yeah. like she doesn't see the vice president. What I'm starting to suspect is what happens, and I think this is going to happen, when the vice president gets a backbone or shows any inclination that she's not going to serve the president anymore, and the president freaks. Oh, the president needs her, bro. Because of the control issue. Because of the control. She needs someone to oh. control. So that goes building off what we said last time, where how the vice president is a switch. She lays it down on it, but she likes to sub too. And she subs to the president. And, and the just, president needs the stuff. The hierarchy just stands. There's only one oh, thing the president man. truly controls in this show, and it's the vice president. That is the only person that she has it's absolute true. control of. Absolute she does not control her father she wants to. She's trying to control these boys she can't. She tried to keep the boys away from the girls she could not. That is a single part. Even Han shows up and doesn't really care that she's the president in that sense. She still works for her, but that's the single person that she has the greatest control of. Yo, and you know what's funny that you say it and I just picked up on it? That explains why every time the president does set and wearing the vice president, like, oh my god, she starts sweating. She like, do I tell her? Do I tell her she just messed up? Or do I say nothing? Cause she's like, wait, do I stay in my sub role or do I let her know, hey, you messed up? And then every time the president says anything to her, she just starts sweating. She's yes. like, and that's what the president oh, wants. Oh yeah. Wants. It's exactly what she wants, cause she thinks she runs things. Oh. Yeah. Oh now, could God. you break down, I don't know if you had the same patch, but we had a little off-screen conversation. Actually, I'll be honest with you guys, Mike wasn't picking up the previous one. It wasn't one. picking up. So we're doing this <laughs> part of it again. But, um, who is a true, I guess I'll just go to the Oh, I remember now, no. Okay, so we see all the boys, right? They've been, like, getting interaction with women and such, right? But what I'm saying is, so far, Andre's gotten the furthest with the woman, if you really think about it. Because you think about Keo, you know, yes, he got a nipple right to his eye, yeah, he got a little flash of the coochie, but like, it ended nowhere. You know, uh, Shino got to go out with a girl, you know, he got a little nip flash, he got a little boobies on his back, like he was playing his games, but it ended nowhere. Andre, however, Andre's basic self, right? He's basic He's self. over here arm wrestling, and he got a nut off. In my opinion, Andre, his, he's winning right now. He's winning. So he's I, to be winning. I, the, the level of passion is different. I get. We, we had this argument, and the mic wasn't picking it up. Yeah. But I was like, nah. But I'll cut through it because we went through a lot of arguing. In a sense, yeah, he is because he's physically touching a girl. Yep. Physically being stimulated by the girl. Yep. It's pathetic, but yeah, pathetic. he climaxed. Touches, okay? touch, touches, touches. The others may have got to see more, but it's all it it's all subjective. More. It's yeah. all subjective. Ultimately, it's they still ultimate. are leading, wanting more. Yes, Andre's good. It's the ultimate question of high school. Did you not? <laughs> and Andre has. He has. He has. He has. But so, but now, the, so the next part of the of our argument was who actually got more. Was it Shino or um Kyo? No, was it Kyo? Oh, Gak! Oh, Gak! Gak! Because yes. remember, like episode three or two, he got his face sat on, like full face, like Koji Panty rubbing, like he wasn't sweating no more. He was getting juiced on, kind of sat on. <laughs> so like, I would say he had probably the best experience out of everybody, the best. Well, the thing is, he had the best experience, but Andre would consider his experience as the yes, best. Yes, Andre, his, yeah. His, his Andre standards are lower. Yeah. He's a little fetishist. Yeah, yeah. But Shino actually had a girl. Like, I don't know how. Yeah. Seen some bitties yeah. from a girl that actually likes him. You're so right. I'm thinking That's that up there. Shino it's up there. Has, has gotten the most 
full package, mm. and Andre has been the only one to climax. So, mm. yep, Andre still wins. And uh, Kiro, he, he got it up the butt. Multiple times, too. Do you <laughs> notice it's such a theme for him? First the heel, then the stick. Yeah! Poor Kiro. Oh my gosh. Pro Q. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go right ahead into it, guys. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. Director Nasty is also on Show Souls. Look for his links below. He's running his own programs. He has nice things uh, that are already out. So let's do it. Prison School Reaction starting now. BTO they're, they're broken, like literally. Yeah, man. Literally. <laughs> they're broken. They're utterly broken. <laughs> Yo, it makes sense. You want to clean it anyways, blow it up. See, I'm the other way around. I clean it, then blow it up. I'm the other way around. I clean it, then blow it up. <laughs> Oh, he's completely lost it. Look at his oh eyes. I told you, man, she's going to be the one. This guy. Oh my god, he's just so deranged. ゼロフォアあの僕メニュー変更してもいいですかなんだ前菜に副会長様の無知メインディッシュにトーキックとストンピングの嵐最後にデザートとして副会長様の妻をいただきたいのですよ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><
No. No, I'm not filling that out. With yeah, drama request? No, expel me. She caught the grasshoppers and fried them herself. She's a good cook. <laughs> I'm saying it. Is that okay? No, what the fuck is that? She just heard coming me into the ground. She takes pride in her food. She's a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not filming that out. This is with drop requests. Like, no, you're exposed. This is building up to the meme that Craig was showing us. Oh, I see. Oh. He's gonna make a nice appeal. You see it? Mmm, I do. The that's the motivation of the wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> the means of uniting them is so hilarious. Oh, here it is. She's literally gonna go under and remember when she came. <gasps> That's what happened. They were under the bed, he popped one, and it went between her legs. Oh! <laughs> Cause we were watching censored, so we didn't see it. No, I saw it. Oh, it was sense so I understood what happened. Oh. Come. You didn't know that's what happened even in the censor? No, like I knew that's what happened, but I was like, they didn't show it. But like right there they showed it. Uh. And it's like, oh, it's like that's right. The bread. No. No. I got it. It was a misdirect! I figured it out too late, but I was like, he had to do it in the letter. Blackmail. Oh, no, he saw him burying something. <laughs> they brought it back. <laughs> yes! Oh. I saw this coming. This man is going to step up. I knew you it. You know he likes butts. Yo, straight up. Yo, too much time's gone by, bro. Mm -hmm. Nah, inspiration. It's like boobs. Look at her trying so hard. Oh my god. Her trying actually saved him again. <laughs> oh 
直線をお尻の代わりとして胸を大きく膨らませたんだ本来の生命の源はお尻おっぱいはその代用品なんだ所詮おっぱいなどお尻の笑い物に過ぎないのですオリジナルかどちらかを取れと言われれば当然僕はオリジナルを取ります進化の過程で前面に張り出たおっぱいによって奥へ後ろへとお尻は隠されただがしかしそこにその奥行かせたりお尻のようにHave tried to divide these boys and conquer, Yo. but now it it appears as if they're gonna be divided themselves. Yo. These boys now have the favor of the chairman. They are united. These boys are gonna capitalize on this moment. Trying to? Oh, no, they're trying. gonna capitalize on this moment. You think so? Not man? only the boys are gonna capitalize on this moment, and these ladies are divided. The ladies are divided, and there's at least two girls that are supporting mm, these true, boys. True. And one of them is a daughter of the chairman. She is the strongest person there. Literally. She is physically the best looking person there. Yeah. She has the best body there. Yeah. What the heck is she subservient yeah, for? Once she realizes that, because she knows she's physically superior to those boys we saw in the arm wrestling yeah. process. Once she realizes that, she's like, what the heck? I don't need anybody. Yeah, hopefully. I'm the best here. Yeah. Oof, she show us. Facts! The only one the president has is her daddy. Mm. That's the only power that's really she has. Yeah, prison school is, is, is a learning opportunity. It is. Everybody should watch prison school. Teach these kids. <laughs> I mean, these adults, these grown adults. Teach them. <laughs> hey, man, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. This is the censored version. The uncensored version will be available on our Patreon. Because that's the version we are watching. Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Yeah. If you haven't done so already, Director Nasty, he's on all socials. We have his links below in the description. Your boy Rockley. Director Nasty. Oh. <laughs>